All right, what's up? Scott from Four Love Photo here today, and we're gonna be installing this spider web shade on the Gladiator over here. You know how we love our spider web shade products. Got everything up here on the TJ. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to the to the JT, of course. For the Gladiator, uh, you can get a Kini, or you can get the full, and I opt for the full here if I ever get the hard top off with our kids or whatever in the back, and I think you can install this with the hard top on. I will need to take back this Best Stop Sunrider. Such a great product if you've never used this. Literally, clip, clip, and open it up. And you're topless, and now the spider web shade is gonna help us out with a little bit of uh, sun and wind protection here, but I just love how easy that uh, Best Stop Sunrider. Definitely grab yourself one of those. All right, of course we've got the spider web shade decal that's going on, and then Got this great little card here that says stop and scan this to get your uh, full instructions. That'll give us a PDF of how to do it. I've actually done it a lot of times and so I'm gonna get right into it. But yeah, if you need that, just go ahead and scan there and it'll take you to the instructions on the website with step-by-step -step photos. Spider Web Shade has their nice uh, vinyl logo on there and they have a unique uh, patented system for, and it's different than the rest. So it's not the cheap little balls that the other ones use for the JL and JTs. And then for the front of the windshield, they've got these nice clips that lock into place on the front windshield. And of course you got the cutout here to reach your uh, hard top freedom panel latches. And uh, yeah, always a great product. We get, run them on everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on the JT. All right, first things first. So these spider nubs, you can see they go in these little screws right here. So you basically just take that out and pop the nub in there with the stock hardware right there. On the shade, you can tell exactly where they are. See, that's a windshield one, but these two are going on the nubs. Then it's gonna get three nubs in the back on each side. So the two in the front, three in the rear, and then those are all windshield. Like I said, it's super cool. They give you the uh, T25 uh, bit. If you're gonna use the Jeep tool kit, I'm just quicker it's gonna be using this. Just be careful, you don't wanna run those things back in, basically just for a quick of speed. So as I was saying, you take your spider nub here and you basically just take the stock screw and you run it right through there and that's how it's gonna attach. So we've got that guy just set in there and now I'll just tighten it back up. Again, be careful if you're using an impact and not the uh, Jeep provided tool. That's it, just a little nub. There you go. Looking good and the loops will just come right around and be able to attach to there. Had to loosen up our grab handles here to reach this one in here, but still not a problem. Second nub going in. There you go. Got one nub there, one nub there. This is the driver's side in the rear, and you're gonna see there is one right here, there is one right there, and there's another one right there. So you basically have one, two, and three, and that just corresponds to one, two, and three. You can see exactly where they're at. Got that guy in there. All right, two in there. There you go, so one, two, three, and we're just gonna repeat that process on this side and of course up there. So as you can see, we got the rears on the passenger side, there, there, and there. See where they're at on the other side, and then up front. Of course, we got the fronts right there, ready to rock, so we'll just loop around. Awesome. Was a little cloudy before and shady, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> Pull it in the garage because it's getting a little toasty and see if we can't make it work with the surfboards and whatnot. But I think we can for clearance wise, just it's a little hot out here. Yeah, that uh, Florida sun is not playing today. All right, so looking in, and this is the driver's side. You need to remove four bolts and for the windshield, just to lower it slightly forward to be able to get those uh, clips on there. This is one of the bolts and then on this side, this is the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and take off these two on this side and then the same two on that side. See those guys hiding in there. Get that These are actually incredibly loose. They usually aren't that loose right away. So got that out. And these I should mention, 
are the 45 different than the T25 taken out for your spider nubs, but these ones for the windshield are T45 and included in your Jeep kit. There you go, got the fourth one out. All right, from here you have a few options. You have to tilt this windshield forward a little bit. You can completely remove the wipers, which aren't too bad. You take this off and they'll slide off. Or you can go ahead and just tilt these forward a little bit like I'm doing. Now, all Jeeps have done this. The windshield tilts forward. It used to be for the Army back in the day, so they can shoot out. Everyone thinks only this Jeep does it for the first time. This one does it just the same, but this one's really nice. Just those four bolts, and it's kind of meant to come down, so if you will. So... This is all about you need to do to do it. So if you have someone there to help you, you can just have it here and then you can access these clips that you need to. They're gonna go into the front of this clip here. But this is the method I'm going with and since it's just me, it's the uh, Harvey method. You guys know Harvey. Just take a football, place it here, and it gives you plenty of access to reach your clips and you don't have to worry about removing the windshields if you're just trying to move quickly and don't wanna mess with that. So that's the rest of the method I'm gonna go with. Right, so we've got the football holding it here to help us with a little extra space and what you want to do is get these front ones just to the outside of this little curl so what you do is see this clip all you need to do is place it on like this and then basically you turn it into place so that's it that is how this guy is locked on here Let's see if you can see it from there so basically yeah make sure these are nice or straight when this goes on there they're gonna the first one to the far left is gonna sit to the side of that and that's how that's clipped on all right scooted our football over to this side and we're gonna do the same thing here start it sideways and then give it just a little bit of a turn and that gets it clipped on there nice see when you are clipping you want to make sure you're inside of your plastic header panel so you can see this guy there how it's sitting nice and inside. And it's basically just that nice little 90 gets the top on there. So we already got the two on the driver's side. We're gonna move over to the passenger side. All right, over to the passenger side now. Go ahead and grab that guy just the same and give it that little turn. And that's all it takes. Just that little 90 locks it in there pretty good. And thanks again, Harvey, for the football method because this makes it a heck of a lot easier one-handed than me trying to hold it up and finagle it. And you can move it along the way. and. So you might help if your football is a little bit more Tom Brady, a little less deflated, but uh, it's all right. It worked as it is with a fully uh, inflated kid's football. So this last one, so clip it on there, give it that little turn, and you can see how that slide in there. So there you go. That's our four attached now. Shea's going to flow backwards, but we started with the windshield. Now we can go ahead and remove this and put the windshield down. I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts in right now because so just so I don't forget that would be kind of terrible if we forgot to put those bolts back in there. All right, got the one in. Here is the second one. All right, so now I want to talk about this if you have the best top Sunrider um the way that this is going to work with the spider web shade as you can see this bracket in the middle here is from best top and you do two things they do spider web shade provides a hole in the middle so we're going to go over and discuss how that's going to work and how to install this if you have a best top sunrider installed as well all right so it does look like you can keep a spider web shade on with the hard top on but i think i might have to just simply loosen these bolts and maybe lift it up a little bit because i can't get my clips through here on the spider web shade so i think i'm just gonna unbolt this and just lift it a little bit and slide it through and then once you do that you don't have to do that ever again but you just have to do that i think to slide it through to uh install it if you're gonna have the hard top on all right so now you can see what i'm trying to get at basically just trying to get this high enough to where i can slide this through we have our cut out there so let's see what happens get started on that side so let's come over here and grab this let's see if we can't pull it all right, so now with that lifted, we have this thing pulled through and we'll see how we're gonna manage the Sun Rider and if that's possible. Okay, here's what it looks like with the shade pulled through. I have my Sun Rider unbolted and just slid forward a little bit. So you can see I have access to where that guy is gonna go on the inside. And that is what secures your, that secures your top to there. That secures the Sun Rider to its frame. First you put this on and then this goes on afterwards. I was just making sure everything fits with the spider web shade. Looks like the guys thought of everything over there, so that's awesome. All right, now you can see with the hard top back on, we just need to place our best top bracket, and that goes right in there. 
like that. And then we put those bolts on. You can see how the spider web shade works with the best top sunrider. There you go. You can see I just put the brackets, uh, the bolts back in the brackets and see how the shade fits around this. All right, so now with the shade installed up front and it run underneath the best top sunrider and the hard top, we can begin using our attaching our bungees to our spider nubs. So what you want to do is just take these and tuck them down in between here. So you'll see these guys come through over here. All right, so the guys uh, provide you with this red paracord and that's uh, to assist you in installing these on the nubs. So once I slide this through, I just put them through the channel here and you pull a little bit. Once you wrap it around like that, you can get it nice and then you can just pull that out and now it's nice and mounted on the spider nub. All right, we'll do the same thing here. As you can see, we just put the paracord through there, dropped it down. Give that guy a good little pull with the cord. Wrap that guy around there and boom, perfect. So we got the first front two on. To the passenger side, see I looped this through there and then I just dropped it down around here. Give it a little pull back around and boom, that side is on. Getting nice and taut. There we go. So, all right, we are on to the rear. So, we've got this guy. I can't see that. So, we got the first bungee pulled over here. And we're gonna do the same thing, just take this, loop it around there, go like this and you can pull your cord out. All right, second to the last one on the passenger side. Give it the nice little clip around. Boom. And you can see we got our last one on there. So now we'll move on to the other side and see how, how she fits with everything on there. All right, see if I could do this one one-handed, pull it around, and there you go. Now we have the last two remaining. That will go in those two. It's a little hard with the tension as it goes along to do one hand, but as you can see, I got it around there. Same thing, work this out. All right, just because I wanted to make sure I did everything right, took the Sunrider back off, and this is what the spider web shade looks like running through there. You can see it's nice and taut. It has the gap for the hard top. And at the bottom, you can see that she's looking good and runs all the way back. So since we have these grab handles, I had to make a decision and see the best way. So on this one in particular, I ran it on top of the spider web shade. So I took the, I took the band off of here, put my handle, my paracord handles back on, and then just ran this simply on top of there. So that's how I decided to handle that. There you go. And over in the rear, you can see I put the spider web shade on first and then just simply put my handle on the place to make sure that those both fit the way I wanted them to. And this is the driver's side. You can see how this one came over. This one I ran under and this one over the top. So see, I got that guy in there. Got it all looking fresh. All right, there she is installed. Got our best top Sunrider here, fully functioning. And when it's off, I got our spider web shade ready to go. That's what it looks like from underneath what it looks like in the back and like i said we just loosened up the hard top a little bit and yeah there you go spider web shade with a best top sunrider install on a gladiator there you go full uh team spider web shade rocking over here in this house for low photo that is again what i was going for something i knew when i got the jeep that i really wanted to run the sunrider and i really wanted to run a spider web shade so i'm really glad that i was able to make them work together and uh, if you were looking for that combo now i hope i can help you uh too enjoy i want to take it down let's reach up pop that give it a little push on the inside or you can just grab it right here and flip it back and there you go all right, so that's with the top open. And when you close it, you just come in here, grab those, boom. You can either leave them like that, or I kind of like to tuck it back there, like that. There you go. Okay, so I did want to do the whole install and show you how it works with the Best Top Sunrider, but since I had the hard top loosened up, I figured what the hell. Let's go ahead and take it all the way off and take the doors off with it. And then we can see how the entire shade looks. It's looking great. I am loving the way the truck looks with the top and doors. I like the little blue accents. 
Going to do a couple more. Got a little the blue hooks and got a little blue Jurassic Park license plate coming. But just love the way all the way around it fits and looks. Spider web shade, so it always looks awesome. 